and today I am going to take you through sort of a couple of days when I decided to enter or I decided to put in some lock loops. Now I think this is the second time maybe that I have used these and to just to give you a little background as to what they feel like. You know the styrofoam that's inside the styrofoam rollers? That's what these actually feel like. They're long and they're sort of shaped like a um, arrow and they have a little loop on the end of them. If you're interested, you can always go to lockloops.com and check their website out. Um, you get 30 standard size lock loops in one container. That was one thing I didn't know. And excuse me if I sound a little nasally, you guys. <laughs> I have been struck again with a little sinus congestion type thing. This is day number three or four. And I'm actually starting to feel like I'm coming out of it. It just sounds, you know, I just sound a little tricky. So right now I'm putting in the lock loops, as you can see. Um, I actually speeded this tape up because I'm not fast when it comes to curling or rolling your hair. So um, I'm just going to randomly try to put all of these lock loops in uh, all over my head. And yeah, just showing you what they look like. Again, they are called lock loops and you can go to lockloops.com. Um, you can use these on any type of hair. It says it works on all types of hair. So you can be loose, um, you can be relaxed, you can be natural, and you can have locks, as you can see. And it's just like using styrofoam rollers. You just don't have the plastic piece on it. You just get the styrofoam. And I'm so excited because in a few seconds, we're going to magically switch to the next day when I'm ch um, taking these lock loops out. Um, it did take me, I don't know if it was one or two days to dry in between, but when you see the videos and I have a hat on, I actually had these lock loops up under them. So that's an inside secret, an inside tip. So I'm finally finished. And you know, a lot of times you miss one or two as you go along. Here I am trying to tighten one up and it's magically the next day. So yes, I am taking my lock loops down, honey. Um, have you checked out my first virtual conference that was held here right here on YouTube? Thank you to Sister Locker um, 2018. She held it on her channel and I will put the link below in the rich box where you can click on it and you will get to interact or get to speak with or get to see me on in a conference with six lovely, beautiful uh, queens here on YouTube and we share our experience experiences with wearing our sister locks so that's the difference with our conference it's not a conference with um, the sister lock ex experts it's a conference with people like you and I people who actually wear the sister lock system so don't forget to check the rich box below and click on that video so you can um, check out our first virtual conference so yeah i'm taking my hair down honey and on my lips i'm rocking belegant cosmetics in berry chili and my eyes um are um the eyeshadow on my eyes come from the color rain company and i'm using their queen of hearts palette i know it was kind of hard for me to get that out but uh <laughs> I'm actually fighting back having to wipe my nose and all types of stuff. So anytime you're taking your hair down from any type of perm rods or rollers, be really careful during this phase right here. This is why I decided to do it in sections as I was taking my hair down. I would only comb through my locks in different sections because you don't want to accidentally pop a lock off or anything like that. Uh, my curls were super tight. Um, they were in there, okay? I don't know how they got to be so tight because all I used was water when I was putting them in. I didn't use any uh, chemicals. I just used any setting lotion or anything like that. I just simply used water the whole time. But as you see, I'm going to take the, I took the curls out and I'm just going to rake my fingers through my hair in sections. 
So right now, we're just going to get to some styling, okay? Not a lot of talk here. Um, I'm just going to try to figure out how I can uh, make these locks work, okay? What can I do to be the best me on this very day, honey? <laughs> So here we go. We got your normal, your normal uh, church updo. <laughs> yeah. So here we go. Normally on the first day, I don't really like, if I don't have to go anywhere, I just let it stay tight. Because I know as we go longer or we go more days out, due to taking showers and sleeping on it at night, your hair is going to really loosen up. So for the first day, honey, <coughs> excuse me, for the first day, these curls are tight, okay? These curls are tight. They're in there. As you can see, I'm running my mouth to somebody else talking about something, but these curls are tight. I could be on the phone. Who knows? Um, They're in there, and, and I'm really not going to do... A whole lot with them um, on the first day. I think you guys have seen videos um, probably the second or third day already when I had my um, lock loop curls, but these are definitely the first day um, curls, and I just let it stay. And they were dry, um, none of them were wet. They were all completely dry, so I think I may have let my hair set two days. I'm not sure if it was really one, but it was completely dry. Time for a little photo shoot. Time for a little photo shoot. Look, I get harassed a lot of times from people who want to know, why do you take so many pictures? I can't believe you take all these many pictures and this and that and this and that. Look, be you. Don't ever let anyone distract you from doing what you want to do. I take pictures because I love encouraging women to rock their natural hair. And the only way that I can do that that I know that works best for me is for me to show them as opposed to telling my sisters. So I take pictures to encourage all of my beautiful bronze goddesses out there to rock your natural hair, whether you're loose natural, whether you wear cornrows, whether you wear your wigs on top of your natural, my goal is to encourage you to rock your natural hair. So I'm going to post as many photos on my social medias as I can get of me rocking my natural hair. I just prefer a lock system, whether it's traditional locks or whether, as you can see, I have now, it's sister locks. That's the system that I prefer locks. But if you prefer your hair loose natural, if you prefer to wear braids, if you prefer to wear cornrows, if you like to rock your twists, you know, if you rock bantu knots, if you like to rock your wigs, I just like to encourage beautiful brown melanated women to rock their natural hair. And I make sure to flood my social media timeline with pictures of my natural hair to encourage you, your niece, your daughter, your sister, everyone else around you to let them know, to uplift them that it is okay if you walk out the house just the way you are. You don't have to conform with any type of ways that social media put out there that you have to conform to the look. You can rock your natural hair. It can be professional. You can go out to concerts. You can rock your hair in any type of situation that you may find yourself in. And it's totally acceptable to be carefree and to be you. You don't have to fit in anyone else's box. You only have to answer to yourself. So, in long story long... <laughs> I take as many pictures as I want, okay, until I actually get the perfect one for me so that I can encourage other women to love the beauty that's within them. Thank you so much for tuning into my channel today. This is just my version of the lock loops. I'm sure I'll get better as time goes on. 
Let me know below. Uh, do you take a lot of pictures and post them on social media of yourself? If so, let me know. Um, why don't you? You are beautiful, you know. Peace. Thank <laughs> you.